Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. I'm trying to make videos more often, so I really appreciate you guys bearing with me and the time between videos. But today, I'm coming at you with another historic list. Uh, today, I'm going to be running Mono White Artifacts in Best of Three Historic. This list is a little bit of a conglomeration of a couple lists I've seen floating around lately, and I'm going to give it a good shot in Best of Three. I'm excited. We're running four Ornithopter, the zero cost zero two for Ginger Roots. One Loxwain Gargoyle. I've sort of toyed with getting rid of all of the Loxwain Gargoyles in favor of the Voltaic Servants. The slots that I'm I'm debating on are the Loxwain Gargoyles, the Glass Caskets, and the Voltaic Servants. The Voltaic Servant pairs really, really nicely with the Steel Overseer because you tap it for a plus one plus one counter on each artifact and then in your instep, you get to untap it with Voltaic Servant so that you have the opportunity to tap it again on your opponent's turn. So I'm, I'm sort of struggling with this. I really want the Voltaic Servant, and the slots that I'm debating on are the Glass Caskets and the Lockwing Gargoyles. Anyway, also running for Sparring Construct for All That Glitters, two Glass Caskets, four Steel Overseers, four Voltaic Servants, four Tempered Steel. Tempered Steel is one of the crucial pieces of Historic that makes this deck really strong. Uh, four Crystalline Giant and four Stone Coil Serpents, along with 21 Godzilla Planes. It's very important that they're Godzilla. It's not, but they look nice. Our sideboard is comprised of two Soul Guide Lanterns, two Apostle of Purifying Lights, three Janeth Magistrates. This is really, 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 really good against those pesky Winota decks. Three Thalias, two Sorceress Spyglasses, and three Mystic Forges. Um, I actually haven't played this deck in best of three yet. I've been playing it in best of one. So we're gonna figure it out together. I think it'll be good. I'm ready. Let's do it. Wait, that's the wrong mode. <laughs> Not that one. I actually haven't really found too many bad starting hands with this deck. Although if you have all that glitters or you have the tempered steel, it seems like you're in an especially good spot. Steel Overseer also seems like an important point. I have no land. That wasn't a very good one. This is kind of questionable. Uh, we don't really have too much going on for us here. We're just going to have to hope that we get the good draw. So we're going to start out with the Ginger Root because then we have the option to play Stone Coil Serpent for two on the following turn at least. Uh, I think Steel Overseer is probably the preferred play so that we can start tapping to give plus one plus one counters next turn. Um, Stone Coil Serpent is looking pretty good for three here. We're gonna swing with the Ginger Brute. Go ahead and activate Steel Overseer. We're just gonna have to hope there's no, no board wipe coming up. It looks like we're good. It looks like they're playing some sort of version of Escape Shift deck, so I think that we're probably just gonna overrun them, which is which is really nice. Um I am actually going to run out the Crystalline Giant here and let that start ticking up. I want to activate the Steel Overseer. Stone Coil Servant does have Trample, so they're taking a good bit of damage. The Crystalline Giant got a Vigilance Counter, which is okay. I feel like flying would be... Flying is usually a really strong counter on Crystalline... It was a good game one. I think here we're gonna go for the... Mm, this is gonna be tough. Huh. Sorcerer's Spyglass is good against like Teferi, but they're playing an off-color like, Scape Shift deck, I'm assuming. So I sort of feel like Thalia is probably the way to go just to cut them off of ramping spells. It's it's hard to say. I don't really want to over sideboard in this situation. I think that Sparring Construct can probably go and um, Glass Casket can also potentially go. I kind of want to keep in my artifacts. Ooh, this hand's kind of rough. It's just not enough gas. We're gonna mulligan this hand. This hand is much better. We have significant amount of gas here along with that sweet Thalia. Um, we have a lot of one drops, so I actually think I'm going to give up the Lockthrain Gargoyle here in favor of keeping the Sparring Construct for my turn one. Could have considered giving up a two drop as well, but 
I think that all the two jobs I have are pretty valuable. I think I'm going to start with the Thalia instead of the All That Glitters, just because I would like to slow them down as much as possible. We're not really getting that much damage in. We're going to opt for the Crystalline Giant here. We could go for our own All That Glitters, but... I'm gonna swing. If they want to block Sparring Construct, they block the Sparring Construct. I don't really want to lay off doing the damage. They're okay, they're ramping, but... Thalia should make this a little bit harder. I am going to go for the All That Glitters. I'm going to put it on the Crystalline Giant. We're going to hope that we get Trample. We did not get Trample. We got Vigilance, which is okay. We're still doing pretty good damage. We already have Vigilance on the Crystalline Giant, so there's no point in playing Voltaic because I meant to keep that untapped, but we could keep Sparring Construct untapped, I suppose. I'm really hoping we get Trample or Flying on Crystalline Giant. Um, Ginger Brute isn't too bad for us. Keeping in mind that both of these cards will trigger the Crystalline, or the All That Glitters, I should say. We're just going to swing with the two. They're going to block. It's okay. And then we'll just untap our Ginger Brute with Voltaic Servant. Not that we really need to, but it is what it is. That's rough. That's our whole field, and we do have planes. We could rebuild, provided... This is going to be a pretty big Stone Coil Servant. It's a 6-6, six, six, which is good. We just need it to survive a little bit. We have another Golos, but we're still much larger than the Golos. We did really hard commit to the field, which is... It's okay. They have enough to kill the Stone Quail Serpent. Just kidding. They may just take the 8 and attempt to keep us overrun with zombies or have enough zombies to block the Stone Quail. I could see that being the case. I'm gonna play Marari's Wake. Migration path. That's going to trigger two more zombies. They're also holding growth spiral. They have a lot of zombies here. We're going to need... Mm, maybe a uh, ginger brute won't quite do it for us. Ginger brute won't quite do it for us because we need to do four damage. You know, we could, we're, we're gonna hold out for a few more turns because I think there's a couple of options for us to get through with flying or to get through with, um, with haste on Ginger Brew. But I think it's, we're running out of, our path to victory is severely narrowed here. We can always go to game three though. That was a very untimely shatter. Sometimes it'd be that way. Either they have it or they don't, they had it. They got a lot of cards here. Many things going on. We need the flying or we need the haste. Actually, if we draw a ginger brute, we could win because of steel overseer because it will be a 4-4 four, four with tempered steel and steel overseer. They do not have a haste. They cannot block ginger brute, although they have seven life now. So I think that we're hedged out of the game. But just, just for funsies, let's see what our next draw was. I think our... The fact that they just gained the life there really, really blew us out. Yes, I get it. I get it. It's looking good for them. I just want to see our next draw. Although they're really going off this turn. I feel like Dahlia is a good pick here. Although they are playing...
Exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them. The Drain of Magistrate may not be a bad choice because of the Golos. Okay. They all have lifelink. We have to think about our sideboard this situation. Okay, we drew a land. I figured we weren't going to draw anything fabulous, but that's fine. Let's take a look here at our sideboard plan. Can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hand. Feels pretty good. And I think that in exchange we're going to cut... I'm really tempted to bring in the Apostle of Protection from Black. I'm just not sure. We could run Sorcerer Spyglass instead of Janet Magistrate, though. And target Golos. I feel like Sorcerer Spyglass is okay, but then do we actually run Thalia is the question. We need to cut four cards, which is tough. We don't want to cut too many of our crucial pieces. Maybe we just run a little bit less. Drainith Magistrate probably is less valuable than the Sorcerer's Spyglass. Sorcerer's Spyglass will still trigger um, all that glitters, which is great. So, seems good. Play first. Our hand is actually really strong. We're going to need one additional land for Tempered Steel, but having the Ornithopter ready to go seems pretty good, along with Steel Overseer on turn two. I love the little helicopter noises it makes. That's not a land, but we do have another turn to draw the land. Um, we do kind of need the land right now. I guess another Ornithopter is okay. It's really not great though. Come on. Just need land. One more. I really want to hit the Tempered Steel and then the Crystalline Giant for the, the faster damage, but there we go. That's pretty good damage. We're putting them to six, provided they don't just come in with the board wipe right now. Although we are looking at a 5-5 five, five Crystalline Giant. We just need another turn in order to get that online, which is kind of unfortunate. They could have the board wipe. It could be in their hand. No shatter. Life is good. Good game. Um, I played this deck a little bit yesterday in best of one, and I hovered around the 50% win rate, which is only okay, but I think that maybe playing it in best of three with the sideboard that I have now is really going to make the difference for me. The deck is pretty fun. I've been enjoying it. This hand is a little slow. This is better. This hand will keep. We'll pitch one of our Steel Overseers. We really want that third land for Tempered Steel. I'm gonna play the second, or we're gonna play the Steel Overseer on turn two, as opposed to all that glitters. I just think that getting it online early is, is pretty strong. We drew a second all that glitters. Instead of a land, I guess playing the All That Glitters on turn three isn't that bad. We want to put it on the Sparring Construct. Nope, we're going to try and run this out. Maybe they're holding Growth Spiral instead of a Counter Spell. Okay, life is good. We would be doing way more damage if we swung with both, but we're setting ourselves up to swing for eight potentially next turn. Growth Spiral it is. I assume they were holding a ramp spell or a counter spell, but most of the decks in Historic that are running counter spells at the moment are mono blue, so. Okay, Wilderness Wreck. This could be that Omniscience Wilderness Reclamation deck I've seen going around. They may return Steel Overseer to my hand. Oh, nope, they're gonna Thassa's Intervention the All That Glitters. Which is okay because we have another one. How much damage is that right now? That's 12. I actually feel like it's more valuable to swing both of these instead of tapping the Steel Overseer. 
Uh, now, even if they have a brazen borrower for one of them, we're looking at a finishing them off with the Steel Overseer. I suppose double Brazen Varmer would be pretty bad. Um, fog? I've seen a Root Snare. Sorry, Root Snare is the one. Would be... I've seen some of these decks playing Root Snare. I'm not looking forward to that. Although this is interesting. This is Simic Reclamation. I've seen people playing Bant Reclamation with Omniscience. What are we going to do? Either we got it or we don't. Good game. I'll say good game back. Good, good game. Okay, we go to game two. This time, I really like Thalia. Um, and I think that we're going to go for the... I'm assuming they're running Uro, but we didn't see Uro. I kind of want to run the Mystic Forge into this. Cut the glass casket does very little for me. Um, I'm going to cut the Loxwain Gargoyle as well. I've never really tried to run the Mystic Forge. <laughs> Let's run one of them. Let's just run one. I don't I don't really know if it's gonna be helpful in this situation. Okay, one land. The one land situation is a little bit rough here. We could keep it in hopes that we draw in the land, but I really think it's probably better to mulligan. We're gonna go to five. Ooh, that's a little rough. <sighs> We're actually gonna keep the two lands. We're gonna hope that we draw into the third land that we need for Crystalline Giant, depending on what I draw, I may save the Stone Coil Serpent to play on two. Yes, I am going to do that. Okay, run out the Ornithopter. Chill with the Stone Coil Serpent. Hopefully we draw that third land for Crystalline Giant on the appropriate turn. Voltaic Serpent's also okay, but I think that I'm gonna run out the Stone Coil Serpent. We still have another turn to draw the land we need for Crystalline. Voltaic Serpent doesn't really do us too much good here without the, um, the one that taps. We have counters, you know what I'm talking about. Remembering names, it's hard. There we go, life was good. I am, I don't really need to draw, so I'm just gonna swing two at Narset. Um, this isn't a deck that's going to, to gain value out of me drawing extra cards. I don't have any way to do that, so. They aren't running a means of of wiping me at the moment, so I feel like I'm fine to just swing face. I don't think they have a way to wipe me. They're not running white. They could have brazen borrowers. We're looking at one, five, seven damage next turn, which is not lethal, but a tempered steel would make it very heavily lethal. It could have a counter spell. Could be sitting on a counter spell. It looks like they missed a land drop. They're not running settle the wreckage. They are running the root snare. So that was something that I thought could be possibility in this deck. We just need, they're missing their, their fourth land to play the wilderness reclamation though. So we need them to just not have additional root snares. They could have another root snare, it's a possibility. They could have, yep, there's another root snare. Okay, we're chilling. It's all good. We'll untap the stone coil serpent. 
they're still digging for that fourth land. I'm hoping that once they hit it, they don't have anything detrimental. They still haven't played it. A third root snare? Could it be possible? I suppose it could be. It is, it is possible. In fact, probable. I'm actually gonna just hold off on 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 playing the Stone Coil Serpent. I really don't feel the need to play it. I don't think they have a board wipe though, so there's probably no reason to not play it. Okay. They had three root snares, they never drew a fourth land. Three root snares was pretty obscene, but we did it anyway. So you know what? kind of amazed me that I was sort of sad and sort of happy about today is that they found the forest fen treasure. I was really excited about it. It's this buried treasure that was buried somewhere in the Rocky Mountains that the super rich guy had left and he wrote a poem that had the directions to finding it. And I was actually kind of convinced that I was going to go looking for it myself, uh, maybe sometime late this summer. And someone found it. It's been buried for 10 years. No one's found it. And someone finally found it. I saw it on the news today that they found the forest fen treasure. It's like a million dollars worth of treasure. And I'm kind of sad. I guess subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's my backup plan. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this hand. Let's roll it out. We're going to start with the Spartan construct into the mono blue. This might actually be a rough match. I actually think in this case I'm gonna run out the Stone Quail Serpent on one because of the fact that it has reach when it's uncounterable because they don't have the mana. It's gonna be a difficult situation to get this all that glitters to resolve, so I'm not entirely certain how I wanna play this. I need to I need to see what they go for for their turn two. If they leave that two mana floating, I'm looking at a wizard's retort. I'm looking at a couple of different things. I'm actually going to roll out the Voltaic Serpent, Serpent here. I don't care particularly much about this card getting countered. I'm going to try to draw some of these counter spells out of their hand. Looks like they're going to debate on if they want to counter it. Okay. Essence capture onto the Stone Coil Serpent. We may be looking at Curious Obsession hitting the Siren here. Which, if they play a third land, will only leave them two mana for counter spells. But they could be holding Wizard's Retort. It's tough. I think this matchup is a little tricky. We just need to have enough threats that they can't counter them all. Dahlia in this situation would be great. No curious obsession, so that's a positive. They're playing a little slowly. Okay, that's fine. All good. We're gonna run out the other Voltaic Serpent that we just drew. I keep calling it Serpent. It doesn't even look like a snake. Gosh, we went to a restaurant today, and um, according to the sign, it was like, no pets! And it had a picture of like a dog and a cat and a snake and a bird. Um, and we were pretty upset that we couldn't bring our pet snake to the restaurant. <laughs> I just thought it was funny that they felt the need to specify that no snakes were allowed. All right, so they ran out the, the cutthroat. I'm gonna go for the ornithopter here. I'm gonna try to run out this all that glitters onto one of these ornithopters. I am not sure this is gonna work. I have a feeling this is going to get countered. At some point, though, you just have to push it. Prison borrower? 
Brazen Borrower, must we? Or else they're just out of counter spells. Yes, it's Brazen Borrower. This is gonna be a tough, a tough sell. I'm looking forward to the Thalia in the sideboard. We're not in danger of dying at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the Crystalline Giant here because Tempered Steel definitely feels like my higher value card. It did resolve. So we could be looking at a second Brazen Borrower, perhaps. Ooh, and it got flying. Potentially the best option for us right now. We could be looking at a second Brazen Borrower. Right now, though, we're not. We have a lot of mana available. I'm actually really tempted to block the Brazen Borrower with the Stone Coil Serpent. I'm gonna do it. I'm taking the four from the Cutthroat, which doesn't really feel good. We're gonna start with Sparring Construct. They're holding something instant speed, but they have one card in hand. Now is probably my best chance. Good, good stuff. We're gonna swing with Crystalline Giant because we can untap it with the Voltaic. I'm actually gonna swing with one of the Ornithopters as well. If I don't apply some pressure, I'm gonna be in trouble. Is it another Brazen Borrower? Is it a Merfolk Trickster? What is it? We don't know. Could be a trickster. Could be a... Yep, it's a trickster. Very well. I'm gonna tap Crystalline Giant in order to do 8 damage to me. No. They can't do 8. They bottomed it, which is probably a good sign. Siren Storm Tamer. That's fine. It is what it is. Hexproof is actually great. We'll swing with two yet again. We're actually applying a lot of pressure right now, which is awesome. They can't bounce a Crystalline Giant now. Crystalline Giant doing work. Another Voltaic Servant. Give me lifelink. Nope, first strike. That's fine, I guess. They can't trickster it, yeah. Hexproof on that Crystalline Giant felt really tasty. We're gonna run out our Thalias here and we're gonna cut potentially Sparring Constructs, I think. Everything else feels really good. I like the Reach on the Stone Coil Serpent. I like the Glass Casket because I can hit practically everything in their deck provided they're not running Dive Downs or holding Dive Downs. Feels good. I wasn't sure we were going to win that, but we did a good job. I'm going to mulligan. The hand's too slow. This hand doesn't really have the land situation that I want. Yeah, I guess we keep five. I really like this Thalia in my opening hand. Want to get that down on turn two if possible. I'm hoping they're holding a turn two play. Maybe they're holding a flash creature. Okay, they are. I don't want them to counter Thalia. That is not, not what I want. I'm assuming they're holding a counter spell here, so we're gonna slot in the Steel Overseer. Sure enough, 
Sure enough, glad that we went for the steel overseer. Could have gone for the, all the glitters, I guess. I need to play carefully. Opt on their turn, but they did keep it top. Okay. This is a good time for Thalia. They do get to draw two cards, but we get to put Thalia into play. For free, they did tap out for this, so. We're doing equal amounts of damage. They're drawing way more cards than we are, but. A glass casket on that spectral sailor would be awesome. Not sure that's gonna happen, but. We have a lot of cards in hand, thanks to those two curious obsessions. I'm not sure that Dolly is gonna be enough. We're gonna try though. We are gonna try. We're pretty evenly paced on damage, as far as trading damage right now. My windswept girl. Ooh, Tempest Gin. Not nice. We don't like. That's fine. We can probably slot all that glitters onto Ginger Brute and then give it um, so it can only be blocked by creatures with haste. But they're doing a lot more damage to me than I am to them at the moment. It's not really giving me that much. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It'll be a 4-4 four, four with Stone Coil. I guess they can decide if they want to trade. If they want to trade the gin, they can trade the gin. I'm thinking they're not going to want to, though. Very good. That's some pretty good damage. I'm rather tempted to block this turn. I'm only blocking one. Wow, okay, I made a mistake. This was foolish. 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 I forgot about C dash or octopus. Flash mutate. Seems rude. Okay, we're not looking tasty. I think we're gonna have to go to game three. They're definitely going more aggro, so. I, I can't actually survive, so. We go to the next game. Thalia still feels good. I think I wanna run out of Mystic Forge just because. Okay, we'll be on the play. Mm, good hand. I'm liking it. We need more land, but the double ornithopter starting is pretty good. If we get double ornithopter and then we actually manage to land the tempered steel, that's good. They're mulliganing a lot, so that's probably in our favor. I like that. <laughs> I like to see my opponent mulligan, as mean as that is. I hate it when I have to do it. It's great when they have to do it. All right, here we go. Ginger root. Double ornithopter. Take that. Now oh, we kind of want a two drop. I would like that. They kept it top. Interesting. Okay, well, we have our land. Hopefully they're going to force a creature this turn so that we are secured to roll out the tempered steel. I'm going to I'm going to go for it. Counter spell, quench, opt. Quench, nope. Some pretty good damage. They could have a brazen borrower. All right, we're gonna start with stone coil for one. They know that I have another card probably because I'm only playing it for one. But it is a 3-3. Three, three. 
All right, what is in mono blue that I am so afraid of right now? That uh, even even Murfolk Trickster doesn't scare me. Cutthroat coming out. I think we've got this game. I think we've got this game. I guess I could just run out like three one ones. Nope. Nope. I was actually worried about that matchup a little bit, but I think that because we have so many small threats, we generally have enough to like make two plays per turn, which can which does pretty well against something like mono blue that's relying on countering your big threats. Okay, I like this hand. I like the combo of Steel Overseer and Voltaic Servant. Um, if we manage to get that out onto the board, it's looking pretty good. We're gonna go for the Steel Overseer on turn two. Daughter Asia, okay, that's fine. We have threats. We're gonna take the Overseer. I took the Stone Coil Servant. So it has pro multicolor? I'm not gonna ask questions. Assuming they have a board wipe now, I guess, is, is the best thing I can do. I'll just assume they have it, or they have target removal for the Steel Overseer. Okay. I'm gonna play the Crystalline Giant. They did not play a land, so I am assuming they missed a land drop. I don't have anything for them to take. It's humans! It's S ray humans! Okay, so they're not gonna be running a board wipe. Wait, why didn't I get to. Oh, I needed an extra mana. To make that happen. That means I need to do it on my turn. Because of Tithe Taker. Vigilance. And Death Touch. I feel like it could be worth to swing with the Crystalline Giant. If they want to double block it, they can double block it. Didn't think so. Can I not full control to have it again? I guess not. It's during my end step. And the concede. Seems good. Seems good. Okay, here I'm probably gonna go for the Apostle of Purifying Light, but I'm just not sure. We're gonna try it. I don't need to sideboard if I don't need to sideboard. Duh. Hmm. We have two chances to draw a two drop. Double tempered steel feels really good against aggro. Mm, another land doesn't feel great. Needs more two drops or one drops. More one drops is okay. I'm into more one drops, I guess. Just sucks that now. My tempered steals cost more permanently. I guess I have to play Crystalline Giant now. That's fine. Lifelink is okay. We get the tempered steals this coming turn. Bodyguard is okay. We're gonna bodyguard what? Dahlia. Okay. Dahlia has first strike, can't forget that. Time for tempered steel. Everything is good. What are we gonna get? We're gonna get trample. I'm kinda just gonna chill for another turn and play my second tempered steel. Nice. 
Now I'm feeling pretty confident. Now I'm gonna swing. I don't know how they're gonna block, but maybe they've just missed land and they're holding like Banalish Marshall or something. I would say that's likely. Mm, 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 mm. We're four for four. It's like a Wendy's deal. I know I say that all the time. Four wins, maybe five. I don't know. I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> Either way, that's pretty good. Four wins in a row is pretty good. Let's not jinx it, though. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. I'm probably gonna play this for the rest of the day. To be honest. Ooh. Sure, this is fine, I guess. I guess I'm gonna pitch one of my stone coil serpents. It's kind of a weird choice, but I think it's the right call. I like stone coil serpent because it really fills out those turns where you just don't have the right CMC card to play for how many lands you have. We run out the steel overseer followed by the voltaic servant. There we go, we drew our third land for Tempered Steel. Which, actually, we're probably gonna smash instead of the Voltaic Servant. They could have a counter spell though, so... Let's run out the Ornithopter and see. Looks like they are holding something, so we're gonna try for the Voltaic Servant. It could be an Omen. Could be a counter spell. Don't know, hard to say. Activate Steel Overseer. I'm gonna exile my... Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. I still got one trigger off of it. Seal away, interesting. That is what they were holding. Maybe I should have gone for the Tempered Steel last turn, provided it could be an Absorb now. Ah. To Fairy Bounce will take Servant. It's okay, I play Tempered Steel for free. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of the Teferi. This might be the tough match. We're hoping for not a board wipe. Looks like we get one more turn of not a board wipe, so that's good. Vanishing Light on the Tempered Steel. Okay. We're not doing very much damage right now, but... It's, it's damage. Untap the stone coil serpent. Leave the ornithopter. Okay, it was not a board wipe, so that's good. We're gonna start with a swing. This could be... This could be Settle the Wreckage. Let's tempt fate. It's something. I don't know if it's subtle. Nope. Okay. They were holding Absorb. I was concerned about Settled Wreckage, okay? I was very concerned. Oh, Shatter. Okay. That's fine. We can still do my little one damage. They have two cards in hand, but they have Castle Ardenvale. Fortunately, we can bypass Castle Ardenvale with Ginger Brute. We only have one card in hand. Big Teferi. Spring Constructs are gay. I just need to do 10 damage. Which is not that much, but it is control, so they are running substantial board wipes. I'm really looking forward to putting Thalia in. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to putting Thalia in the side here. 
Uh, we could we could come through. Looks like they're gonna dig for some answers. So. That was an interesting voice line from Narsa. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Okay, all right. We could, we, this could work for us. Um, all that glitters would be okay, although they're holding Thassa's intervention. How much can they pay it for? A lot because of the untap with Teferi. Probably gonna Thassa's intervention this. I really feel the need to go face here. I think I'm just gonna hold on the crystalline giant because I know it's gonna get the asses interventioned. There's gotta be a word for that. Teferi's getting scary. It's not looking great at the moment. They have another absorb now. Hmm. This is probably gonna have to go to game two. Probably gonna have to go to game two for this one. See what we draw. See what we draw here. Two counter spells showing in a lot of mana. That early seal away was problematic. Okay, here we go. Another ginger brute. Seems good. This is going to get countered. I think we're going to go to game two here. I don't think that we're going to get through with with just this. Um, here's where we're going to definitely put in the Thalia's. We're going to put in Sorcerer's Spyglass as well. And potentially the Mystic Forges. Um, I think we're going to cut the glass caskets. They're not necessary along with the sparring constructs. I just don't want to cut all of my useful cards. Let's try it like this. I like the idea of just being able to play off the top. If that card resolves, we're in a pretty good situation to just play off the top. Ooh, no lands. Lands, but no turn one. I think we're gonna keep it, though. I'm gonna put all that glitters to the bottom. I'm not really liking the look of this at the moment. I really want to put that crystalline giant out there. But I think I'm gonna put the Thalia out there instead. I'm gonna hold it and just tap it to make itself a 2 2. Oh, this is tough. I guess I'm gonna go for Tempered Steel. I don't know what sort of counter spell they could have. They could have Absorb. Oh, Devin's Veto. Okay. I'm gonna swing for four. Banishing light on Thalia. Probably. No, Steel Overseer? Fascinating. We're just hoping for, like, not a board wipe right now. 
This would be bad. If we were walking ourselves straight into a board wipe, they don't have black. They can't run Kyazha. They could run Shatter. Ow, that really hurt. Okay. They've gotten pretty lucky. Timely reinforcements. Wow. And we draw land. Ooh. This might be the end of our perfect run. This is unfortunate because we've done so good. I mean, this is basically the perfect deck to beat us because, um, you know, Mono Blue is a little bit of a tough matchup, but eventually Mono Blue, once you are able to slide multiple things past them because they can only counter, you know, maybe one spell per turn, the problem with Esper is that they're running the board wipes. So even if you do slide things past their counter spells, they still have an ability to just clean slate your board. So it probably is sort of the ultimate the ultimate counter to this deck. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Let's see what we draw. Let's give ourselves one draw and a land. Um, okay, it was still a really, really good run. We run, we won five out of six games and um, we only lost to the Esper Control List, which is definitely rough because of the amount of counter spells and board wipes that they are running. So I think that the deck is in a pretty good spot. I haven't seen that many people playing Esper Control in Historic um, at the moment, so I think it's still got a pretty strong matchup as you saw today in uh, all of the games that we did play. So uh, I'm feeling really good about where the deck is at right now. Even against Mono Blue, which I was concerned about, I think that we did pretty well. We were able to be aggressive enough to win fast. It's a fast aggro list. Um, you know, your goal is just to get all that damage in with Tempered Steel and finish them on, on turn four, uh, maybe turn five. So I've been really enjoying it. Well, I said artifacts aren't really my aesthetic, and I like to play aesthetic decks. Um, it's been super fun. It's been very aggressive and hard-hitting, and that is something that I've really enjoyed about it. I'm probably going to be playing this... Uh, in Historic today on my climb to Diamond. I'm going to aim for Diamond today for sure. And then see how it runs out in Diamond if I can get up, up to Mythic with it. I like that the games are fast. That means I have the opportunity to play a lot of games. Um, and obviously my win, win rate in Bust of Dream was really high today. So um, I'm really happy. Thank you very much for hanging out. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys again soon in the next video.